Hey guys, it's uh, me. You can see that I'm here on my channel page or uh, Super Mario Parody Show trailer video page uh, that I released in March of 2018 as if to imply that I had planned on making a Super Mario Parody Show. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think that's going to happen anymore. But that being said, I had a lot of progress on it and I was proud of it and I'm kind of ashamed that I stopped working on it because this is most fun I've had working on pretty much anything. Yeah, I mean, even out of either of the NM Mindstorm movies, this obviously wasn't as ambitious of a project as either of those, which so I'm glad those both came to fruition, but this just kind of got left behind. So that's why I'm here. Let's first show you what the trailer was. It's only 26 seconds if you'll bear with me, so let's take a look. Yeah. So it's Peach's List, which is what it was called. You'll find out why it was called that in a minute. But, oh my god, you can see a line that was kind of moving. Oh, I'm going for a bit of dramatic opening here. <laughs> Got my friends to voice. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty apt description. Shitty CGI. It's most of what it was. But I had a lot more done than just that 26-second video that I showed you all. And that's, I guess, why I'm here. If I go to my Google Drive page, uh, I don't know, a lot of this is random stuff um, from a while ago. But some of it is important. So I'm going to start with this. This will show you what the premise was. Ah. Lots of blue screen backgrounds and stuff. Everything was a placeholder because I planned on making real backgrounds later, but never ended up doing that. Anyways, once upon a time in the Mushroom Kingdom. Come on. There lived a girl named Princess Peach and an Italian plumber named Mario. Oh, white text on a bright background. Not really working. Peach would invite Mario over to her castle every so often for cake. That's a screenshot from Super Mario 64. And would always manage to get kidnapped by Bowser, King of the Koopas. That's like a ripoff of something from Super Mario 3D Land. Uh, Mario did everything to rescue her and would defeat Bowser every time. Screenshot from Mario Bros. DS. I don't know if the narration is helping. Maybe you just want to tell, maybe you just want to see what's going on. Basically continued for 30 years. So you can kind of see where that's going with the exposition and everything. But here's the new part of this show. As the cycle continued, Peach realized this only grew her relationship with Mario. Therefore, she continued inviting Mario over for cake. So Peach's motives, she kind of wants this to keep going now. She wants to just keep getting kidnapped and keep getting saved. Uh, knowing she would be kidnapped once again by Bowser. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And they lived happily ever after. Or not. <laughs> there was only one problem. Every so often, another girl would get kidnapped. Only so that Mario could save her instead of Princess Peach. Ooh -hoo. <laughs> and that's a pink gold peach on the poster in front of her, of course. So that's the premise of the show. Princess Peach was a yandere, uh, kind of a psychopath who wanted to just kill every Nintendo princess who wasn't her, uh, who got in the way of her um, being saved by Mario. So there you have it. Um... It was kind of a uh, a thriller kind of story, but it, it I had so much fun writing for it because I liked playing up the humor in just that whole thing. There's a little bit left. Uh, the, the voice lines are the fun part. I'll save that for the end. But here's the rest of the animation that I had. Um, I guess we don't need to look at all of it. You already saw this part. It was in the trailer. Let's skip ahead a bit. Uh, yeah, right here. She's at a table. And, uh, oh my god, okay, so in Blender, which is where I animated this, um, I did not know how to use the outline effect, so it just added freestyle lines on the outsides of every single polygon, even this, because the eyes were detached from the face so that they could have their own animated texture. Um, and this is where the seam was, so it's very blatant, but anyways, my <laughs> crappy computer animation skills aside, um, here we go. Uh, 
she's talking about a letter that she sent to Mario because that's what she was putting in a mailbox there. And dear Zelda, fight me IRL. Final. Oh wait, wrong one. That was the joke. Um. Dear Mario, would you like to share some cake while we watch the shooting stars? Meet me at the castle. Peach. That's a screenshot from Super Mario Galaxy. Um, I don't know. That was weird. That was like a choppy standing up. The chair was just... Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, like what? Anyways, maybe I'm getting a little too nitpicky for a sophomore in high school. But um, anyways, this is Bowser and Bowser Jr. This was voice... Oh, oh my god, what is this? He had like extra eyebrows that you could or like eyelids that you could use to animate and they were still parented i think so it just floated kind of next to him i probably would have cropped that out if i ever made anything of this like i said lots of blue screen backgrounds there's voice acting that's supposed to go over all this um i just lost it although some of it is still on google drive so don't worry about that is Toadette handing the letter to Mario. Oh, this is terrible animation right here. I mean, that's that kind of implies that it all isn't, but no, it all is. This is just especially bad. Look at that. Oh my god. And Toadette's like, hey, look, I got this letter that doesn't respond to wind physics correctly. And then she hands it to Mario, and it does a little cartwheel in his hands. And uh, <laughs> she walks away and disappears. <laughs> Um, he's supposed to be talking. I was just like, I'm going to animate the mouths later, which I never did. Because I lack commitment. Anyways, uh, insert non-CGI sunset scene here. Yeah, lots of placeholders. Um, but hold on. Yeah, we got the Koopas just walking. You can kind of hear there's look down from Les Mis playing in the background, or there was. Um, oh god. <laughs> This is no variety at all. Why can't they at least be going at different speeds? I mean, come on. Um. Anyways, so I had the voice acting for this line is done. This right here in Daisy's hand is Peach's list. That's the name of the show. And the list is the list of people she wants to kill so that she doesn't have to deal with them as a threat anymore um, between her and Mario. But yeah, Daisy's like, oh, I found this in the kitchen. Could you explain what, why you've just written random people's names down? And Peach is like, oh, haha, no need to worry about that. And she kind of takes it and hides it behind her back. Despite the fact that there's a lot to be desired in that animation right there, I was kind of proud at at least how I communicated the emotion in Princess Peach there with the animation. I'm, I'm proud of that, if not anything else. But let's move on. We have um, Sam's lines. Yes. This is. Oh. My plans are sure to work this time. Despite, Despite the fact that I use the, use the same, same plan, plan every time, time and always fail. This is. It was so much fun. My voice was really high at the time as well. Assuming it still isn't. Okay, so here's Peach. What happened? Yellow Diamond well, Bowser was the name of the character. Ah. Hold on. I was parroting Pink Gold Peach, so I had Yellow Diamond Bowser, Green Bronze Luigi. It was stupid. Um, he's, he has so much fun with his voice lines. I told him to say hell, but he didn't want to, and I, I'm fine with that, because this was better. And that's what it was saying from the bottom of the pit. Thank you, everyone. Okay. 
What's the rest of this? Okay. The oh. sun's setting. You know what that means. Time to head over to beaches. Okay. Uh, so terrible. Um, but now there's Nick's lines. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, thanks for that. Another letter from Pete. I'm proud of my lines. Can I her if I go? No way I'm going for this trap. Holy shit, there's gonna be cake? I am so there! Woo, sure, I'm glad she left a date and time on the invitation or this would be useless. That's a relief. Pete, are you in there? I've been knocking on this door for like 10 minutes! That's pretty much all I have, but I was very happy with that. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, what else is there? Um, who else's lines do we have? Bowser Jr.'s? I know we recorded Bowser Jr. No. Um, Daisy. No, but we do have a script. We have a little bit of a script here I can look at. Um, oh, hey, Mario. I have a letter. Nice. Gimme. If you don't mind, I'm going to go pretend you don't exist for a while. Sounds like a plan. Oh, hey, it's from Peach. Bowser will probably just kidnap her if I go. No way I'm falling for this. Tra Holy shit, there's going to be cake. Yeah, I already heard that one. Um... Oh, hey, uh, Peach, I found this, uh, yeah, this was, you saw the animation for this, when Daisy said, Oh, hey, uh, Peach, I found this page on the floor in the kitchen. It looked like your handwriting, so I thought it might have been yours. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Well, bye. But Peach? Yes, sis? Why was my name on it? Oh, uh, <laughs> this is just a list of my best friends. Nothing to worry about at all. Okay, thanks. Bye. Yeah, oh, this was fun. I don't know, if, if you if you get a chance to look at this or pause on any of it, you can read it, but I'm not going to waste your time. Oh my god, I had a lot. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. This was a lot of fun. Um, and I'm glad I got to still show you guys what happened with this, if nothing else. So uh, I'll see you in the next video, which, by the way, NM Mindstorm Movie 2, January 1st, and uh, weekly premieres until then, so... Stay tuned on those Fridays. Anyways, see ya.